Hey, good morning and welcome to the old Moto Dude YouTube channel. So what I've got here today is my 1980 Yamaha SX650 Street Tracker. Started off as a 650 Special. It's had a lot of mods done over the years. Built this about 10 years ago. Um, kind of go through some of the paint first. So paint was done by a, by a gentleman in uh, in Toppenish, Washington. Did a lot of low riders and stuff. Lots of metal flake. But the uh, pinstriping lettering done by Ron Pomeroy, brother of uh, Jim Pomeroy, the late Jim Pomeroy. Ron is an excellent motocrosser in his own right. Um, does some nice lettering. The so-called special is kind of a tribute to my roots in Southern California and the fact that this started out as a uh, Yamaha 650 special. Some of the things that have been done to it over the years, um, you see minor things like the uh, fork brace started off as a from a Yamaha Enduro. The uh, front wheel stock, except for the, the brakes, the brakes were a uh, XS 1100 Yamaha dual disc setup that is a direct bolt on for a 650 Yamaha. The we rear wheel is a front wheel, started off as a 19 inch front wheel, has had, see if we can get a good shot here, adapters built for it friend of mine who is a uh, retired machinist and metal fabricator turned both of these for me to be able to put the uh, the discs on the front and the back and convert this to a 19-inch uh, wheel. 19-inch wheels uh, on the rear tire is a dirt track tire. The, uh, the seat is from glass in the past. The tank is a stock 650 Yamaha tank. So um, let's see what else can we tell you about it. Recent, uh, some recent additions, these metal flake grips were just a eBay find, thought they might look nice. Um, also, you'll see the modern uh, MX blue anodized um, foot pegs. Those were taken off of a uh, standard uh, YZ aftermarket foot pegs. Kind of had to drill them out and then uh, adapt them to the stock foot peg mounts. So nothing too special there. The engine work, I want to point out, recently had the top end done by Alan Green, who is in Newburgh, Oregon. His company is Classic Motor Works, does excellent work. He uh, vapor blasted the whole top end, put new pistons, cam, uh, valves, the whole shot. Also, I've converted it over to the uh, Makuni VMs. This is a set right from uh, XS650. The only other thing, well, a couple other things I guess to point out. Turn signals on this, the rear turn signals are cab marker lights off International Harvester. And the exhaust is uh, from Omar's Dirt Trackers. Don't know if they even exist anymore. They're kind of a pain to get on and off, but they work pretty good and I like the sound. Uh, headlight, just a simple little headlight. My friend uh, Ira, who also did the rear mountings for the wheel, made this bracket for me so I can it's kind of an integrated bracket for the front turn signals and the lights I uh, don't know if there's a whole lot more to tell so that's it um, continue to watch at uh, old motor dudes YouTube channel thank you